Hello, Beta. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Good afternoon sir. sir. Good afternoon. The recording of the meeting is on now. OK, so beta, I hope everybody has completed uh, uh, the third assignment. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. A couple of you, Sachin and Shivang, had sent me the assignment. Uh, both of you have done well. So. Uh, today we are uh, going to move on to our uh, next topic. Now these topics uh, you may not have done in second maze. So now onwards, uh, whatever topics we will be doing, it is possible that you may not have covered them during second maze. These are typical to phase one uh, chart work. So the basics of the chart work are uh, already covered up. And we are proceeding on to these uh, specialized topics now. So today what we are going to do is uh, number one. Having a lighthouse right ahead at a particular distance with current prevalent in the area. So we will see what this topic is. What all data, what all information is given to us in these type of questions and what is the method procedure to solve them? So there is some current in the area and uh, counteracting that current or getting affected by that current. You have to steer a certain course so that a particular object, a lighthouse is right ahead of you at a given distance. This is the first one. The second topic after this is uh, known as uh, blind navigation or navigation in restricted visibility. By blind, we don't mean that the navigator is physically blind. So by blind, we mean the circumstances are such that he is not able to see. So that is because of restricted visibility. So in restricted visibility scenario, if we are not able to fix up the position of the ship, we can only obtain a, a position line, only one position line, and after that, we are not able to get any other position line or position circle. How to use that information to steer safe courses? So if our position is there, then there is no problem. We can proceed on our passage plan. But if we are not able to obtain a position and we only have a position line, one position line, then how can we use this uh, insufficient information to ensure that the vessel remains safe? So, ye do topic one by one hum dekhne wale hai. So, let me set up the presentation and we will start off with them. Uh, before I proceed off, uh, any doubt or queries in your mind better? Okay, great. So let me set up the presentation and let's get to the point. Uh, sir, ye wala topic is my SK Puri Mitoni in Kis Kitab Me? Uh, Beta Kitab Ki Zarurati Ni Aapko. Just uh, listen to what I say and uh, practice the assignment. The topic is covered up. Okay. 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 Puri Sir Ki Book Me Ye Covered Nahi Hai. <coughs> If you want to refer to a book, uh, Captain Chaudhary ki jo chart work ki book hai. I think there uh, both these topics are covered up. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay.
So our uh, next topic is sight an object right ahead at a certain distance with current prevalent in the area but without any leeway. So let's see how do we solve uh, this type of question. As you see, we need to sight a particular object, most of the time a particular lighthouse. Uh, it should be right ahead at a given distance of. The lighthouse should be sighted right ahead at a given distance of and there is some current in that area. So we need to find out our CTS. The CTS is not known to us so that the lighthouse is right ahead at the given distance. Let's first see what all information or data items uh, which are provided in this type of question. They will tell us the initial position, observed position or fix of the ship. The engine speed is given to us. A reference object uh, which needs to be sighted right ahead is given to us. At what distance the object should be right ahead is also given and the direction and rate of the current set and rate of the current is also given to us. So this is what all is provided and uh, what we are required to find out is the course to steer. So let's uh, try to plot this information onto the chart. We have the chart on our screen. So let's first uh, plot our initial position. You can see the initial position uh, marked by this green color circle. Let's name it as A. This is our initial position. Let's identify the object which we are required to uh, keep right ahead. In this particular example, we are assuming that this hook head lighthouse is to be sighted right ahead at the given distance. So let's name the object as uh, O. Now the set and rate of the current which is prevalent in the area is also given to us. All these items are provided. We are required to find out the course to steer to sight the object right ahead at a given distance D. So let's now see how do we go about this question. Beta, is the video and audio coming in fine? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All good. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, beta. Okay, all right. So any doubts up to here, beta? You have understood the information what is provided in these questions? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, first of all, in the first step, uh, we should be clear in our mind that uh, this is also a little different type of question. Different uh, in a way because the questions which we have done till now we had the information given to us in the question. We plotted that information onto the chart and got our answer. Now in this particular question, uh, you cannot find out how to do this or the method to do this question by thinking out. So let us say if you get this question first time in your exam, it will be difficult to think about the procedure and then start the plotting. You need to know beforehand, before you start solving this question, that what is the method with which we should be solving it. So the method needs to be known beforehand. Once you know the method, you know the stepwise technique, you can follow it and in the end, you will be able to see that the technique which you followed is correct. So it is a typical question in a way that you need to know the procedure beforehand. Okay, right now we don't know it, but uh, by the time we complete this, 
you will have the procedure known to you and then you can follow it stepwise and solve it. So this is how it is different from the previous questions. So step number one in this question, we need to find out the time required to cover the given distance. Let us say they want us to have this lighthouse right ahead at 12 miles off. So we need to find out what is the time that our ship requires to cover this 12 miles distance using our engine speed. So let's assume our engine speed is also 12 knots. So we know that we require one hour to cover this distance. So this is the first step. Calculate the time required to cover the given distance D using the engine speed. Now, once you have that time known to you, we can proceed ahead. Once the time is known, we now have to calculate the drift of the current. You see the set and rate of the current is given to us. We know the rate, but uh, we need to calculate the drift of the current. So drift is to be calculated for how much time? for the same time which we have just now. Go ahead, Bita. Nothing, sir, nothing. It was just on YouTube. Okay, Bita. Okay, all right. So what we have done till now is uh, they had given us a certain distance off at which this lighthouse should be right ahead. So we just calculated how much time do we require to cover that distance using our engine speed. So whatever time we calculate, uh, the drift of the current is to be calculated for that particular time only. So this is what we have done till now. Let's move ahead. So we have uh, just now found out the time which we need to cover the given distance using our engine speed. In the example which we took just now, it was one hour. So we need to find the drift of the current for this period only. So in this example, it was one hour. So whatever uh, the drift of the current is for that one hour, that is what we need to calculate. So once we have that drift known to us, now we can start the plotting. So what we will do is from the object O, in our case, the hook head lighthouse, we are going to draw the current vector. That is the set and drift of the current, which we have just now calculated. The drift is for the time duration, which we need to cover the distance using our engine speed and we will plot that vector starting from the object, in this case, the hook head lighthouse. So let's plot the current vector. I have plotted the direction of the current vector. The length is equal to the drift in uh, the same time which we require to cover the distance. The current is marked with three arrows. So let's make this marking. You can see the current vector the point where the current vector ends. Let's name that point as Bravo. So you see on the plot, Oscar Bravo is the current vector. The duration of the vector is the time required for us to cover the given distance. Now in the, uh, you can see it here also, the set and drift is for the time which is required to cover the given distance with our engine speed. Now what we will do is we will join our initial position A in this case to the point where the current vector ends, that is point Bravo. So join alpha with Bravo. Let's plot it on the chart. So you have this line joining alpha to Bravo. This line, which we have just now plotted on the chart, is our 
कोर्स मेड गुड लाइन या एनी डाउट्स अप टू हियर बेटा ओके लेट मी एक्सप्लेन फर्दर ओके ग्रेट सारे एक घंटे के लिए चल रहा है ना पूरा हाँ बेटा अभी सारी चीज क्लियर हो जाएगी राइट नाउ यू आर इन द डार्क कि हम क्या कर रहे हैं लेट्स फर्स्ट कंप्लीट द प्लॉट वंस द प्लॉट इज कंप्लीट तो सारी चीजें क्लियर हो जाएंगी सो राइट नाउ ए लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन विल बी कमिंग इन यूर माइंड हाउ इज दिस आवर कोर्स मेड गुड लाइन the length of the current Because vector the is for the time which is required to cover the given distance but ab side could be of any length so how this is our course made good uh, let me explain the full procedure it will become clear in your mind now so ab is our course made good course made good is uh, marked using double arrows two arrows so let's plot these two arrows here you can see the Two arrows plotted on the CMG. Yes. Sir. Now, in the next step, we have to draw an arc. So, pick up your compass and open up your compass equal to the distance of which we need to have from this object. The distance of at which this object should be right ahead of us. So, open up your compass equal to that distance. keep your compass centered at the lighthouse in this case the hook head light so compass is centered at hook head light the compass is open radius is equal to the distance at which it should be sighted right ahead and now we are going to draw an arc so that the arc cuts our course made good line ab so let's draw that arc you can see the arc plotted on the chart now this arc is centered at o which is our object and the radius of this arc is equal to the distance at which it should be sighted right ahead so the point where the arc cuts our course made good line let's name that point as charlie so you can see this charlie point here now this charlie point or the position is that point where the object is going to be sighted right ahead when we are moving on the ab course made good track it is at this particular point charlie that the hook head light will be sighted right ahead now how is this possible uh as i told you line ab is our course made good line and we have found out this point charlie now charlie to bravo cb is the distance made good in the calculated time the time for which we drew the current vector the time in which we will be covering up the distance uh, which at which we are required to sight the light right ahead so this charlie bravo is the distance made good for that particular time uh, if required we can also find out our speed made good once you have the charlie bravo distance made good you have the time also in which this uh, distance has been made good so we can calculate the speed made good of the ship while moving on this track if it is required now how is this charlie bravo the distance made good in this particular time for this let's draw a line joining point c the charlie point with our object o which is the hook head lighthouse so let's join these two and mark this line co this charlie to oscar is our course to steer so let's mark it with a single arrow you see the single arrow being marked here 
so charlie to oscar is our course to steer oscar to bravo is the set and drift of the current and charlie to bravo is the distance made good and the course made good in fact this triangle which you see oscar bravo charlie so obc oscar bravo charlie triangle all the three vectors are for the same duration that is the time required to cover this distance off from the lighthouse so charlie to oscar you can see it here on the chart is the distance off at which the light is to be sighted remember this arc was drawn with a radius equal to this distance off and if you see this triangle obc oscar bravo charlie the duration of all the vectors or the duration of the course distance current triangle that is the obc triangle is for the time required to cover the given distance using our engine speed let us say if distance was 12 miles and our engine speed was also 12 knots then this triangle is for 1 hour so charlie to oscar is the cts and engine distance for 1 hour oscar to bravo is the set and drift of the current for 1 hour remember oscar bravo drift was calculated basis this particular time only and obviously when charlie to oscar and oscar to bravo are for the 1 hour duration then the third vector that is charlie bravo the green color course made good vector will also be for the same duration so now you can uh, see why did we follow this particular method now everything falls in place it becomes clear why these steps have been uh, calculated or uh, marked in this particular way so that is the special thing about this particular question you will not come to know beforehand uh, why these steps are being taken but uh, once the plot is completed and you look at the plot everything falls into place and it becomes clear that this plot which we have made is for the given time duration and you see at point c when the ship is at point c the heading will be in the direction of cts course steered and it is pointing right into the lighthouse so hook head light is going to be right ahead when the ship is at c point the charlie point however the track on which the ship is actually moving is the green color track that is the course made good track so ship will be proceeding from alpha to charlie and then charlie to bravo over the ground but at point charlie the hook head lighthouse will be right ahead now before you reach at point charlie you are somewhere in between alpha to charlie this hook head lighthouse will be on your starboard bow some at some place on your starboard bow so at point c it will be exactly right ahead and when you cross point c and you are somewhere between charlie to bravo you will see this hook head lighthouse crossing over to the port bow so in fact this question can be asked to you in a different language instead of asking you find the course to steer so that this lighthouse can be sighted right ahead at this particular distance off they can also ask you that uh, if you are uh, moving on this particular track uh, find out at what time this lighthouse will be crossing your bow okay because you see the charlie point is also the point where the lighthouse is going to cross from starboard bow to the port bow so in some of the questions the question may be twisted the wording may be twisted slightly 
and they will tell you to find out the position at which this particular lighthouse crosses your bow. Uh, sir, if it crosses your bow wala question, rahega, then also they will give us a distance, right? Uh, no, it will change a little bit. At what distance, uh, it, at what distance uh, it will cross your bow? Okay, sir, if we don't know the distance, how do we reach it? No, if there will be a question, hoga na, the entire question would change. Uh, you just keep in mind this concept. Usme information bhi alag ho jayegi, method bhi thoda sa alag ho sakta hai. But what you need to know Usme is the concept. Uh, aage aisa question uh, uh, practice ke liye karenge. Let us, we will go into the past papers and see. You will come across okay. these type of questions. Okay, chalo. Yeah. Just yeah. कॉन्सेप्ट ना That uh, yeah, between yeah. Alpha to Charlie, the lighthouse will be somewhere on our starboard bow. At uh, point yes. Charlie, it will be right ahead. And once you cross, cross Charlie and you are somewhere in between Charlie to Bravo, it will come on our port bow. Uh, yeah. Okay. Or doubts, batao, beta. Sir, me ko ye wala A C C me, isme starboard bow pe hoga ye mere samajh mein nahi aaya. Okay. 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 ओके okay. बेटा हमें ये पता है कि हमारा शिप जो कोर्स स्टीयर कर रहा है दैट इज इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द ब्लू कलर वेक्टर राइट यस सर दैट्स करेक्ट राइट अब अगर मैं इसी ब्लू कलर वेक्टर के पैरेलल एक लाइन ड्रॉ करता हूं समवेयर बिटवीन ए एंड सी लेट अस से समवेयर हियर अगर मैं ये जो ब्लू कलर का हमारा सी टी एस वैक्टर है इसके पैरल एक लाइन ड्रॉ करता हूँ दैट इज द डायरेक्शन इन विच द शिप विल बी हेडिंग सर सी एम जी तो अपना ए बी पे है ना तो जहाज तो नीचे ही मूव कर रहा है ना ओ जस्ट ए मिनट लेट मी ओपन इट अप इन पी डी एफ एंड शो यू जस्ट जस्ट गिव मी ए मिनट ओके बेटा आई होप यू कैन सी द प्लॉट नाउ सर सर राइट अब मैं बेटा यहां पे एक शिप की फोटो बना रहा हूं सो आवर शिप विल बी हेडिंग इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द ब्लू कलर वेक्टर बट इट विल बी मूविंग अलोंग द ग्रीन कलर ट्रैक दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ कोर्स मेड गुड एंड कोर्स टू स्टीयर राइट यस सर यस सर ओके 
Now let me assume that my ship was somewhere here, bit in between A and C. मेरे ship की जो heading है वो तो यही रहने वाली है. So the ship would be heading in this particular direction. Sir, आ गया समझ में. Like this. So now you see, जो ये hook head lighthouse है हमारा, it will be on starboard bow. Yes, sir. So between A to C, the hook head light is on our starboard bow. When you reach at point Charlie, the hook head lighthouse is right ahead. And if you cross this point and come somewhere here, let me make the diagram of the ship here also. So this is the heading of the ship, and you can see. Uh, let's name this point as D. So when the ship is at point D, you can see that the hook head lighthouse has gone on our port bow. So it is at point C that the hook head lighthouse changes or crosses over from starboard bow to the port bow. Okay, beta, understood? Yes, sir. Okay. Correct doubt, oh, sir. Ah, uh, bol, bol, uh, beta. ट्राइंगल है जो टाइम के लिए ट्राइंगल बनाया है ये कौन सा डिस्टेंस है ये जो लाइट हाउस से वो वाला डिस्टेंस है जहां पे हम उसको राइट हैंड साइड करेंगे दैट डिस्टेंस ओके लेट मी टेल यू लेट अस से द क्वेश्चन सेज दैट द सेट एंड रेट ऑफ द करंट इज 180 एंड टू नॉट्स दिस इज द करंट ओके लेट मी ड्रॉ द सिंबल हियर दिस इज व्हाट इज गिवन टू अस and uh, our engine speed is also given they have given us say engine speed of 12 knots so set and rate of the current is also given 180 into 2 knots the engine speed is also given as 12 miles and they have told us that this hook head lighthouse is to be sighted right ahead when it is 18 miles off yes yeah, so one and a half hour then everything right. for one so and is the question clear now beta yes sir okay so i am going to show you the steps now ab pehla step jo hum follow karenge beta jo ye distance off hame diya gaya hai let me call it do distance off distance off jis pe hame hook head lighthouse ko right ahead rakhna hai that is 18 miles तो सबसे पहले तो हमें चेक करना होगा दैट विद अवर इंजन स्पीड हाउ मच टाइम विल बी टेक टू कवर दिस 18 माइल्स डिस्टेंस हमारी स्पीड 12 नॉट्स है डिस्टेंस 18 माइल्स है सो हाउ मच टाइम डू वी रिक्वायर 1.5 वेरी गुड सो वी रिक्वायर वन एंड ए हाफ आवर्स दिस इज द टाइम रिक्वायर्ड सबसे पहले तो हमें ये टाइम फाइंड आउट करना है Now, once you find out the time, you can move on to the second step. Now, what you do is, for this time, that is one and a half hour in this example, find out what will be the drift of the current. The rate of current is two knots. So, in one and a half hour, what will be the drift? Three. Three knots. Very good. So, this Oscar Bravo vector, current vector, which I am going to draw, will be three miles. लेंथ सो so, मुझे ये करंट उतने ही टाइम के लिए लगाना है जितना टाइम मुझे डिस्टेंस ऑफ कवर करने के लिए चाहिए सो इन दिस केस इट इज वन एंड हाफ आवर दैट इज वाई आई यूज दिस करंट वेक्टर ऑस्कर ब्रेवो फॉर वन एंड हाफ आवर दैट इज थ्री माइल्स लॉन्ग ओके बेटा अंडरस्टूड अप टू हियर यस यस सर अब मुझे इनिशियल पोजीशन उन्होंने क्वेश्चन में दी हुई है सो व्हाट आई डू इज फ्रॉम द इनिशियल पोजीशन आई ज्वाइन द एंड ऑफ दिस वेक्टर। सो अल्फा ब्रेवो ए बी लाइन ग्रीन कलर की लाइन मेरे पास आ जाएगी यस सर। सो दिस लाइन इज देयर ऑन द चार्ट नाउ इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप व्हाट आई डू इज आई कीप माई कंपस ऑन हुक हेड open it equal to the distance of which is 18 miles and draw this arc so this arc cuts the course made good at point charlie so ye jo blue color ka vector hai iski length kitni ho gayi iski length ho gayi 18 miles 
राइट नाउ इफ यू लुक केयरफुली जो हमारा चार्ली ऑस्कर सी टी एस वैक्टर है ब्लू कलर का वैक्टर दैट इज फॉर वन एंड ए हाफ आवर ड्यूरेशन बिकॉज अवर इंजन स्पीड इज ट्वेल्व नॉट्स द करंट वैक्टर इज फॉर वन एंड ए हाफ आवर ड्यूरेशन इसको तो हमने पहले ही वन एंड ए हाफ आवर के लिए लिया है सो दैट मीन्स जो ये चार्ली टू ब्रेवो कोर्स मेड गुड आया है हमारे पास दिस वन विल ऑल्सो बी फॉर वन एंड ए हाफ आवर्स बिकॉज ट्राइंगल में तो तीनों वैक्टर सेम ड्यूरेशन के होते हैं सो yes, so, ये जो हमारे पास ट्राइंगल आ गई ऑस्कर ब्रेवो चार्ली ट्राइंगल Now this is for one and a half hour duration. All the three vectors represent one and a half hour length. So this is how we arrived at this particular triangle. अब अगर आप चाहो तो यहाँ से अपनी speed mate गुड भी निकाल सकते हो So green color vector Charlie to Bravo is for one and a half hour. So you just measure it from the chart and divide it by 1.5. you can also find out what will be the speed made good of the ship on this particular track speed made good bhi nikal sakte hain agar wo humse puche what will be the eta to point c to hum wo bhi nikal sakte hain if they ask us what will be the position of point c to hum use bhi nikal sakte hain we can read out the position from the chart yes sir ओके okay, बेटा और बताओ और 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 कोई डाउट आ रहा है माइंड में तो बेसिकली सर इस पे जितना भी आ, काम करना है वो लाइट हाउस पे करना है जैसे करंट जिस पे लगाना है विद रिस्पेक्ट टू और इनिशियल दे रखे तो उन दोनों को ज्वाइन करके टीजीएस कार्ड देना है बेसिकली इफ इट मेक्स इट इजी फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड यस ओके ओके बाद में भी याद करवा दूंगा डोंट वरी यू है मोर देन टू मंथ टू प्रैक्टिस एंड आस्क मी योर डाउट इन चार्ट सर आपने अभी जुलाई वाला रिजल्ट देखा सर नहीं बेटा मैंने देखा नहीं अभी जुलाई वाला रिजल्ट तो नहीं देखा है बट यूजली जो फेज वन का रिजल्ट होता है और उसमें जो नेविगेशन सब्जेक्ट है इसका रिजल्ट 40 टू 60 परसेंट के बीच में वेरी करता है ओके। सो ऑन एन एवरेज द रिजल्ट इज अबाउट 50 परसेंट सो लेट अस से इफ वी आर 40 गाइस इन द बैच सो गोइंग बाय द एवरेज 20 आर गोइंग टू विल पास ओके ग्रेट बेटा दैट इज द स्पिरिट so those 40 40 out of 40 can pass but then you need to put an effort eh? you need to put an effort samjha to main dunga tumhe yes sir par mehnat tumhe karni padegi beta fir 40 out of 40 aata hai sir isme ek hi subject ki baat kar rahe hain na baaki bhi nahi kar rahe hum ha sir ye bhi point okay yeah uh, ek hi subject ki baat kar rahe hain beta sir ye kar rahe hain exams mmd ke december mein ho sakte hain बेटा ये तो एमएमडी ही बता सकती है राइट नाउ द सिचुएशन इज क्वाइट फ्लेक्सिबल बिकॉज ऑफ दीज कोविड रिस्ट्रिक्शंस सो वी डोंट नो व्हेन दे आर गोइंग टू होल्ड दीज एग्जाम्स सर यूजुअली कब होते हैं मतलब कितने दिन बाद होते हैं कोर्स खत्म होने के बेटा ट्रेंड चेंज होता आ रहा है सी फ्रॉम लास्ट मार्च टिल अबाउट फेब्रुवरी दिस ईयर देयर वर नो एग्जाम्स नो एग्जाम्स एट ऑल सो so, उसके बाद से इन्होंने एग्जाम कंडक्ट करने शुरू किए हैं एंड uh, उसमें भी सीट्स की रिस्ट्रिक्शन इन्होंने डाल दी है लाइक नोएडा एम एम डी वॉज हैविंग अनलिमिटेड सीट्स बिफोर कोविड बट आफ्टर कोविड नाउ दे हैव रिस्ट्रिक्टेड इट टू ट्वेंटी सीट्स पर इंस्टीट्यूट 
एंड ये भी रिस्ट्रिक्शन आ गई है देन फॉर ए कपल ऑफ मंथ्स दे ट्राइड आउट होल्डिंग द एग्जाम ऑफ ऑल द ग्रेड्स ए एस एम फेज टू फेज वन सेकेंड मिनट ऐसा भी हुआ है एक पर्टिकुलर मंथ में इन्होंने चारों ग्रेड के एग्जाम जो है होल्ड किए हैं एंड देन नाउ दिस मंथ दे आर होल्डिंग ओनली सेकेंड मिनट्स सो आई डोंट नो हाउ दे आर डिसाइडिंग ऑन विच ग्रेड एग्जाम्स आर टू बी शेड्यूल्ड इन विच मंथ मे बी दे आर हैविंग ए लुक एट द नंबर्स दे हैव ऑल द नंबर्स एंड वेर एवर दे फील दैट द कैंडिडेट्स आर गेटिंग कलेक्टेड द नंबर आर गेटिंग देर इज ए बॉटल नेक काइंड ऑफ थिंग दे ओपन अप दैट ग्रेड सो सर जुलाई में ऐसा भी हो रहा था कि जो बंदे लाइक पांच पेपर अप्लाई कर रहे हैं ना तो उनको तीन में ही सीट दे रहे थे दो छोड़ दे रहे थे मोस्ट ऑफ के साथ यही हुआ जिन्होंने पांच के लिए किया उनको दो या तीन सीटें दो या तीन पेपर की सीट्स थी है बाकी सब कुछ छोड़ दिया ऐसा भी हुआ है बेटा सी फ्रॉम एम डी साइड यस दिस हैज ऑल्सो है सीट्स ऑफ ऑल द सब्जेक्ट और दूसरी चीज ये भी है बेटा दैट कैंडिडेट्स दैट टाइम वर नॉट वेरी वेल प्रिपेयर बिकॉज नो बडी वॉज एक्सपेक्टिंग एग्जाम राइट सो दे वर लिल लो ऑन मोटिवेशन काइंड ऑफ फ्रंट बिकॉज थोड़ा टाइम चाहिए ना बेटा टू गेट यूर सेल्फ मेंटली प्रिपेयर टू गेट इन टू द ग्रूव so that was not there that time so that could be one of the reasons for a adverse result sir ek cheez aur puchni hai hamara beech mein koi test vagera hoga kya aap institute mein beta uh, every subject either there will be a test or uh, sir will give you uh, some assignment to do now as far as navigation is concerned navigation mein main aapko assignments hi de raha hu so isiliye maine aapko bola hai that you keep on doing it in a separate notebook if required i will get scans from you and uh, keep it as a record with me so for navigation i am not going to have any exam per se uh, i am giving you sufficient number of assignments just keep on doing them and keep your register ready that's all uh, okay sir baaki subjects ke bare mein sir kuch idea de dijiye beta jis subject ke bare mein puchna hai <laughs> same faculty member you ask Okay, sir. Okay, they they may change their uh, uh, style. So you ask them. It is better you ask them. Okay, sir. Okay. Or better or any more doubt? Which means there was no crossing about. Okay. ठीक है. So let's take a break then. so one of the topics is uh, done let's take a break dusra uh, topic ab hamare paas jo hai that is uh, blind navigation or steering safe courses using a single pl so have your cup of tea coffee what time you want to meet back jab aap bolo sir theek hai beta keep it 45 Okay, 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 okay,